Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making a dump and go recipe. It's my Instant Pot Pot Roast. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com. And today I'm sharing with you one of my favorite recipes, my Instant Pot Pot Roast. So growing up, I really didn't love pot roast. It was kind of dry. Not my favorite thing. And then I got an Instant Pot. And once you try pot roast in an Instant Pot, it will change everything. It is so tender, so juicy, you're gonna love it. So this recipe is my dump and go recipe. So you literally are gonna throw everything in, put the lid on, and you're good to go. Now, if you love my Instant Pot recipes, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And of course, push that little bell to get all of the notifications every time I post to YouTube. All right guys, let's go make this Instant Pot Pot Roast. Today I'm making Instant Pot Pot Roast. So I'm starting with a two pound pot roast. The good thing about the Instant Pot is that you can use a cheaper cut of meat and it will still taste delicious. I always like to cook the meat on the very bottom of my Instant Pot because that's where it's hottest and that's where it will cook the fastest. Next you're gonna add just a half of a packet of the Lipton onion soup mix and just pour that right on top of your meat. Now I've pre-sliced some onions. I like them so they're a little bit bigger chunks. You can chop them up too if you want to, but adding the onion to the pot roast is one of my favorites. Next, I'm going to add my carrots. Now I have gotten bigger carrots here. I peeled them and then I chopped them into bigger chunks just because you will be cooking for a long time. You kind of want big chunks of carrots. Next, I'm just going to throw in some potatoes. I had some leftover red ones. And then I also am going to fill it with just some small ones. Now, you can use whatever kind of potatoes you like. Just know they will be cooked all the way through. Then you're going to add the other half of your Lipton onion soup mix on top of your potatoes. Then lastly, you're going to add two cups of beef broth right on top of everything. Then go ahead and put your lid on, make sure that it's sealed all the way, and you're gonna turn that little knob to sealing, not venting, because sealing means you wanna cook it. Now we are gonna push the meat stew button, and we're gonna go all the way up to 60 minutes. Now I let the pot roast release on its own, so I didn't push venting until I was ready to open it, just to make sure. But look how good this looks. Then I just took my meat out and I shredded it, put my potatoes and carrots on the sides. It's the perfect meal for like a Sunday dinner. We had this growing up for Sunday all the time. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great week and I hope you enjoy this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you wanna see our other Instant Pot recipes every Monday.